Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adam, this is Adam Sews, this is Friday Sews, this is this week's video. So, this week, what's been going on? I feel like every single week that I come on here, I say, I've not really got much done this week, blah, 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 and then I think about it and I actually have got a fair amount done. But I've got, I'm looking at what I've had done this week. I've done three, four projects this week. One of them being this miniature Tula Bunting, which is up here, which is just delicious. Oh, Luna, look, you're making me trip over the bin and all sorts of other things that I've put in the way because I'm an idiot. Um, this is a free template download from the dressmaker's closet. Um, Jane was our vlogger yesterday for Friday, not for Friday, so for a Gift to November. And this was one of her Gift to November projects that she's working on. So if you would like the details for that, head over to her channel where her video is for yesterday. And it has got the links to the PDF download and stuff for that. Um, so that is enough of me trying to remember what I was talking about. Um, I've got a few things to turn up this week as well, which I will just quickly go through. So a couple of weeks back, I signed up to, well, a couple, more than a couple of weeks back, I signed up to the Quilters Patchwork, Love Quilting and Patchwork, uh, Love Patchwork and Quilting or something magazine. I can't remember what it is now. Um, but it, it basically came with an exclusive Tudor Pink um supplement in it which has got all of the details about moon garden um moon bow quilt and it has also got an article in here of how to make a particular fpp block which is by Henrik. um so i think i already went through that so i won't go on about that too long but basically when i signed up for this the website that i done it through if you signed up for five I think it was five months, which I found really bizarre. It might be six months, but I'm pretty sure it was five because I remember thinking it's a bit of an odd amount of time. It's normally six months or 12 months. Um, so when I signed up for it, the deal was that you got a bundle of fat quarters. And I sort of thought, all oh, right, okay, whatever. I'll just sign up for it. I'll probably never see the fat quarters. These things never turn up. But they did turn up, funnily enough. And they sent me this whole pack of Robert Kaufman Kona solids which are such amazing colours. So I'm really, really happy with those. They're really heavy. I think there's 20, 22 fat quarters, which that in itself really is, I think it outweighs the cost of the subscription because the subscription was not that expensive. So I feel like I've actually done one on the company in that sense because... These are worth more than the subscription, and I've also got the subscription as well. So how that works out as a cost-effective way of doing anything for the company, I will never know. The other thing that I got as well, which I think probably turned up before last Friday, says, but I forgot to actually show them to you, was someone was de-stashing some out-of-print Tula, um, specifically the Elizabeth line, which I've been trying to get hold of some for absolutely ages, but... When it goes up for sale, it goes up for like the price of gold. And as much as I love Tudor, I refuse to pay prices like that because these are things that I buy to keep in my stash as a collection, which is like some of the, as you can see just here over my shoulder, um, there is a few charm packs and stuff that I've started buying, which are just that I've got miniature sort of library catalogued versions of each different range um so this is elizabeth so i managed to get a pack of four fat quarters which is not the extensive range of it but it's basically oh it's upside down um there is some of the um faces in that little fat quarter and then the other ones sorry i'm just folding it up because i like to fold them up when i remember how they were folded and then the other ones are just some of these sort of um, prints that go with it, which I've all got names, but I can't remember them. So I managed to get hold of those. So they are going into my sort of like K 
collection stash of Tula, which I will never use, but I just like to have a, lot, a little bit of each collection put to one side as a sort of archive. The second thing I made this week was a pair of Tula Pink oven gloves. These I used the tutorial from Tamlin from Sonoma Tyne, which was one of the free patterns that she made with uh, for the So Haley Jean subscription for the Fat Quarter design thing that she does every month. Apologies, I'm really not awake today. Um, so there's quite a lot of different projects on there which are Fat Quarter friendly, this being one of them. Um, but I obviously, I didn't make it from Fat Quarters, I made it from yardage because I had yardage that I wanted to make for it but it can be made with fat quarters so it is a really good project if you've got a load of fat quarters and you don't know what to do with them also excellent suggestion for gift in November um so these are the pandemonium they are quilted um I didn't have any initial bright so I used three layers of cotton batting which should be enough for them to be, be used I've made them with cotton batting, three layers of cotton batting before, um, and I've given them as gifts, and I've never had any complaints about people burning themselves, so I'm hoping that they'll be okay. The other thing that I made was what I am wearing. I made a second one of these. I, I didn't make this this week, I missed this last week, and I've been living in it, which is why I'm wearing the same thing in two thumbnails. Um, I made my husband one out of the other fabric from First for Fabrics. This one I have used buttons from the same lady, but these ones are, I don't know if they're gonna show up. They have tiny little pick and mix sweets in them. So they have like little swirly candies, they have little bits of chocolate, all sorts. Um, so I will insert a picture of him wearing it all because I actually managed to get a picture of him wearing it. And doesn't he look gorgeous? I think so. So that is, hubby's one and besides that i have got something cut out which i can't share because it's for a christmas gift for someone that knows someone that knows someone that watches this so i can't share that um i have also cut out some um 100 cotton toweling and some lovely squares of kaif because I have been asked by one of my lovely friends um, if she can have some replacement face wipes because I've made them for her the last two Christmases and they last her about, the, well, they last, they're still going good now but she said that she likes to have a fresh set every year so she uses them day in day out which is such a lovely thing because it's so nice when one of your mates goes to someone that genuinely appreciates and uses them and actually finds them really useful because some people we all know we make makes for and they say oh that's lovely thank you very much and they don't ever use it they just sort of humor us um so it is nice when they do value what they're doing what we've done um i think that's it really it's not really going to be a very exciting video this week i do apologize in advance I have, however, made something else this week, which is for a collab that's coming up, which I am so excited to share. Um, I have also, I've also done something really naughty and you'll, I'm sure by next week it will be here and you'll probably know, but there is a very logical explanation for it. So I'm not gonna slap my wrists or anything because I know that it will help in the long run. So on that note, I shall leave you for this week. I will hopefully remember to insert the pictures like I said I would because I quite often forget to do things like that. Um, please check out the hashtag gift in November because there is lots and lots of great videos with lots and lots of great gift ideas and great ideas for things that you might even want to make for yourself. So there we go. Hello, it's editing me again. <laughs> um, so I am popping back because I just remembered why I forgot I'll never know because it was one of the most important things I wanted to mention today is that Anja from Anja Makes, her video for her ideas for Gift to November has gone out today. So I will put a link in the cards here, here, 
or wherever it goes and i will also put a link in the description box for it so please go and check out her video and see what fantastic ideas that she has got today i will see you all soon take care